Hi viewers, my name is Eric Ilango and today I'm going to show you how to design and then export your own custom report directly from the Musini system. To design your own custom report, you need to scroll to the top of the dashboard and click on the report module. And then scroll down to the data export functionality and click on the data export functionality. So when I click on data export, the system then takes me to the data export page where I can see a list of all data export templates or custom reports and I can edit any of them by clicking the view button. To create a new data export template, I just need to go to the top of that page and click on the create data export blue button. And when I click on the create data export blue button, I'm taken to the create data export page where I can start the process. Start the process by entering the name of the data export template. Let's call it a monthly disbursement and then select base entity or system entity linked to the template that we're about to create it can be one of four options client group loan and savings template uh, entity but in this case we would select the loan base entity because we are dealing with disbursement when i select any of these entities the system is going to display a list of fields that are linked to the entity so we can see a list of fields linked to the loan base entity and I just need to select any uh, field that I want to be displayed on my on my template so I'll just look for any fields any field related to disbursement we have our expected disbursed on date and I'll then add expected first, first repayment expected matured on date and a matured on date now, when you're happy with your selection, you need to scroll to the bottom of the page and click on the green Add Selected Fields button. When I click on this button, the system is going to display a list of all selected fields on the right side of the page. Let me take you back to the top. You can see it here. At this point, I'm able to adjust the order of my fields, of all selected fields. So I'll just adjust, take this to the top. Now, if we're happy with the order, we can then scroll back to the bottom and click on next. When I click on next, the system will then ask me to select any custom forms because we are able to add uh, fills from custom forms. In which case I'm going to select uh, the loan details, the loan details custom form. It's the same way that we selected the individual fields, and I'm just going to click next. At which point the system is going to ask me to add filters to our export template. So I'll do that by clicking the add blue button, and then select a field. Let's work with the disbursement date, disbursement on date. And then I'll just enter the page range. Since it's a monthly disbursement, I would work with 1st of December 2016 to the 1st of January 2017. And when I click Add, this, temp this filter will be added to our template. Clicking Next, the system takes me to the overview of what I've done so far. And I can then just cross check if I'm happy with it. I will then click save, at which point the system will tell me that the data export has been successfully created. Now that we've successfully created the data export, we can go to uh, more actions. So when I click the more actions button, I'm given the options to either download the report or delete the data export template. So when I click on download, just to give you an idea on how the, the report is going to look like, I'm asked to select a uh, file format, I'll select XLS, and then click on download. So you can see right here, it's been, it's been done. It's loading, and I can now just open the report. So this is what it looks like. Let me flesh it out a little so you can have the complete information. So you can see the expected disbursement date, the disperse on date, expected mature date as well. Most importantly, you can see 
uh, the fill from our custom reports, which is the known sector, which hasn't been displayed because uh, it wasn't captured. So that's how simple it is to pull out your own custom report from uh, the Mucine system. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope that you found this tutorial useful.